Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas. I hope all who are celebrating today, I hope you have a great day with friends, family, safe travels, whatever it may look like for you. I hope it's a great holiday weekend for everybody, right? I hope it's a great holiday weekend, maybe a little bit of time off and maybe a little extra time to play FIFA here or there. Hopefully EA Sports takes advantage of that and drops us some nice Christmas content Today, that's what I want to talk through. What could we see on the game today after kind of an interesting, crazy day of content yesterday? The player SBCs are continuing. The wild card tokens are continuing. We have a team of the week upgrade and league SBCs. That was a bit of a surprise. Two different league SBCs dropped yesterday. It's making the menus very, very grindable. But the market continues to drop as well. We've got those store packs hitting again in the store. We had the 300k pack released yesterday. Could we see the 500k pack today? Potentially. We'll talk about all of that and what to expect today as well as go through the market and look at maybe potential investment still on SBC fodder. So if you're excited for today, hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. That's what I want to start to talk about first is what could we see on Christmas today? Well, last year on Christmas, there wasn't anything super spectacular. I went back and looked just to refresh the mind. We had a Philip Coutinho daily SBC last year during winter wild cards because of course that promo was going on then as well. So it was a nice SBC, but it was a little bit expensive. Could EA drop us some sort of like party bag or like present kind of, I don't know, free pack or gift today? They have been pretty nice recently, right? They extended the weekend league. They've dropped some decent content. Winter wild cards is a dub. So I guess there's at least this much of a chance for EA to drop some sort of like nice free pack or something like that, some sort of gift today. But I'm not 100% banking on that because that's just not entirely like EA giving out free things all the time. But hey, We'll keep, you know, a little bit of hopes up for that. Now, I do want to talk through the player SBCs because, again, like I said, last year we had Coutinho. Hopefully today they drop a really good player SBC as well. We have a couple more leaks. Eric Bailly as a Ligon center back. Marseille links. Could be a very, very interesting card. If those are the stats that he's going to get, 83 pace, 87 defense, 88 physical, with decent dribbling and passing, that's not a too terrible of a card. It kind of gives me cause-up vibes from last year. Hopefully, they make this super-duper cheap if it's today or whenever it comes out. Again, a couple more of these leaks. We don't know like the day or uh, the time in which these guys are going to get released, right? We have seen Ozil so far, and we have seen uh, the DePaul SBC, but there's many others that are leaked. Here's a new one as well. Belegarde, I think is how you say it name another league one player a french midfielder a lot of pace here on this card almost hold it gang probably gonna have to be really really cheap you know what that reminds me of that reminds me of the atebo from last year um just with french france links and then of course in league one and not in the premier league so that should be a hopefully pretty cheap winter wild cards sbc as well now of course we still have a couple other new leaks we have got the payette SBC and then FIFA Romania here one of these SBC leakers says that there is a unbelievably shocking French SBC and he hasn't released the name yet um, but he says it's an insane SBC so maybe that could be today I mean guys there's a lot of potential for SBC cards today and then of course we have got the Silas that we have not seen yet and we have the Tony Cruz. hopefully they drop a big boy today that's all that I'm asking for EA Sports if you're going to drop a player SBC today make it a big one. Now, with all the potential for all these player SBCs to drop, right? We've had DePaul, we've had Ozil. I want to talk about the market in relation to these player SBCs because as we get so many of these SBCs, people are going to start to change their teams, especially if the SBCs are decent value, right? The prime example is the DePaul SBC that we saw dropped two days ago on Friday. What did it do, right? It was a good value SBC. People wanted to go and do it to add the to the Argentine links in their team. That's a 10k undercut on Pedri. I will take that. But this Pedri card was one of those that was affected by the DePaul, right? This Pedri was like 170,000 coins. He dropped down to 120K. He's back up a little bit right now. As you can tell, I just sniped that because I knew his price was around like high 140s or around. Yes, he's like 150,000 coins, but he is down in price and a lot of your La Liga midfielders are down in price. That's going to happen a lot. As we continue to get these SBCs that drop on the game, there's going to be people selling cards from their team and replacing them with the SBC version if the SBC is good. Now, this Ozil card that we had yesterday Day, probably didn't move that many cards on the market only 80 pace yes he's five star five star it's kind of a cool dynamic image like five star five star with his hands up and i just saw, thought of that and noticed that whatever but 65 stamina 60 strength 57 aggression 80 pace alone 
not very good links. It's just one of those that's kind of like a head scratcher. Like this is why why is this more than you know? I mean, it is only forty thousand coins, but it should be only be one squad and. That boost really isn't that big, right? That's not a very, very hyped card. The DePaul, on the other hand, was, and it affected the market a lot. And I think you're going to continue to see the market in general move a lot related to the player SBC. So whatever player SBCs are dropped on any specific day, definitely keep an eye out for links to those cards, right? Like if we would see, I don't know, just shouting out some of these cards, right? If we would see uh, an Eric Bailly, if we would see this Bella Garde, if we would see Payet, right? Any of those France League on guys, we have three of them leaked right now. Definitely keep an eye on some of your other most popular League on special cards that are out of packs that people would want to use to link up with these guys. Especially remember the club links because the way the chemistry system works, if you have two players from the same club and then one more from the same league, those two players in the same club are on full chemistry uh, because they would get their chemistry points in total, right? So, you know, that is with a manager. I should mention that, I believe. Um, or, yeah, with a manager with the right league. So just kind of keep that in mind that the, the club links are so very key this year with chemistry. So keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. And that's how the market's going to move a lot in the coming days is you're going to see panic selling on cards that get replaced by new ones that have, uh, like, let's say they drop Tony Cruz. That's another uh, La Liga midfielder. Maybe guys like that Pedri, that the young, uh, the Kamavinga would drop a little bit again because it'd be a brand new La Liga midfielder released onto the game. That's how you're going to see a lot of the market move. Again, with all these brand new players coming out during winter wild cards, there's, the market's going to be all over the place because people are going to be building teams around some of these players, uh, whether it's cards that are in packs or it's cards that are uh, from the SBCs. It just all depends on the hype and the stats and how boosted they are, right? I'm, ke I'm keeping an eye on this Alfonso Davies and some of these Bayern cards because you know, we, of course, had the Grab and Birch dropped in the mini release yesterday instead of usually mini releases are on Sundays, right? But they dropped it early yesterday. So some of these guys that are buying uh, links just keep moving around a lot on the market. They keep fluctuating because people are maybe going out and buying these to go and try to link up with the brand new Grab and Birch card that dropped yesterday. Now, speaking of this card, again, it looks decent. Only center in position, but four star, four star, medium, medium, a very solid card. And it's pretty cheap as well. It's like 180000 and coins and that's probably going to continue to drop off at least a little bit throughout this weekend and that's how i expect a lot of the winter wild card cards to move even more we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a second but just to also look over the store content from yesterday i mean we can't talk about yesterday's content without talking about this 300k store pack again guys this is ha this has to be one of the biggest scams out there and it's even an ea mistake because it says here that all items are untradeable from this pack unless they fixed it when i saw people opening this pack right away yesterday uh the gold cards inside of it were tradable so the only aspect of this that maybe could be a potential w is if ea um end up having to do compensation for this because they're saying the items are untradeable but they are actually tradable the gold cards not the icons but again 300,000 coins or even 2500 fifa points which i think is like 20 bucks or 25 bucks like that's just that is that uh, that's a lot right that 2500 fifa points might even be more i don't know i don't buy fifa points that often yeah 2800 fifa points is 25 dollars, so it's just a little bit less than 25 bucks for that pack i mean it's not good man it's really especially for the lowest level of an icon and now we have primes that are out i mean that's a huge gamble. It's really, really, really not worth it, in my opinion. I do think, though, today, though, we have not seen that 500K pack yet. I think EA is going to slowly release these kind of like crazy store packs. It seems like that's going to be their move, right? Because they're still dropping the lightning rounds. They're still doing the star packs. They've got the 150K, the 125s here in the store. But it's like one pack per day that's going to be either a token pack or one of these like big time gamble packs. So maybe, just maybe, we're going to get that 500,000 coin pack that contains the Foot Hero and the 105 rare gold players today. And that would be a market drainer, of course, as well. Because people will open that with coins, even though it's crazy. People will do that. So watch out for that pack today. And of course, more lightning rounds in general and more supply. And that's why I continue to say watch out for these winter wild cards in terms of their prices. We knew and we talked about it in last night's video that these guys were overpriced, right? 100%. So if you were able to flip any of these guys and make coins off of them yesterday, GG's uh, because there were some good fluctuations. I just a little bit ago bought a Kevin De Bruyne uh, for 
1.2 million coins flat. And I think he's getting a little bit rare right now and maybe going up a bit in price. Yeah, he's 1.33. So it's all about the rarity and the fluctuation with these guys uh, because they move a lot, but also they're like continually dropping as well. So you kind of have to like time the fluctuations right on. And it is pretty risky. I bought a Conte at 900 as well. This one's not doing so hot. He's still pretty rare, but he's only like 930,000 coins at the moment. So the De Bruyne's looking good. The Conte is not looking uh, so great, but I do expect a lot of these guys that are still holding value. I mean, half the team is still, you know, pretty, pretty cheap, but Dembele, Sancho, Conte, Tamori, these guys, I would even expect them to drop a little lower today. If that store pack comes out, more lightning rounds, more supply from weekend league rewards and stuff, they will probably continue to slide down a little bit further in price. That's the way that I would see these cards moving on the market today. So just be very careful if you're trying any of these out, if you're like maybe, you know, putting one in your team and, or doing something like that. I wouldn't hold on to it forever. Uh, but I do think that today on Sunday, with maybe some more big potential price drops, because these cards are still very hyped and a lot of people want to try them out and use them, uh, there still could be some cards of this team that move up in price into Monday a little bit, even though we don't have the, the regular weekly rewards payout date. Just keep an eye on these cards because usually Sunday nights are really, really low times for the promo cards that are currently in packs. So I'd keep an eye on those. Now, let's talk about the rest of the market and stuff that moved yesterday because of content. Team of the Week cards. I'm glad that we sold Team of the Week cards earlier on this week, guys, because Team of the Week cards are now about 15,000 coins um, after they were above 20,000 coins earlier, just a couple days ago. They're right around 15K, and that is because EA dropped the 81 plus Team of the Week upgrade pack yesterday, um, and we knew this is a possibility, which is why we always talked about selling the informs when they got to that 20K range. Anyway, between 17 to 20K was a W sell point because you can do this 10 times per day uh, every single day. It's crazy. EA is like, here you go. Here's your team of the week supply for the whole rest of this next week, which I guess if they're going to be requiring team of the weeks, which they didn't for Ozil, but if they're going to be requiring team of the weeks in these daily player SBCs like DePaul and Ozil and this stuff, and maybe the ones that'll come out today, I mean, it makes sense for them to put this SBC out. So team of the weeks are down in price a little bit because of that. Uh, not a ton, but from 20K to 15K, that is a definite drop um, in value there. Now, also yesterday, this is massive. This is absolutely massive for um, most people that like to grind the menus on FIFA. They dropped league SBCs, but they're different than usual. I would have to say right now, too, the biggest thing I can tell you with these league SBCs is check your club because there are some players that are selling for a lot of coins right now because of the premium winter league upgrade SBC. Look at these non-rares, League 1 non-rares and some of your um, Eredivisie non-rares. Since they are in that first squad and they're required, you have to have 11 players from the same club. So you've got guys from Marseille, you've got guys from Nice, and I believe um, there's one more, Monaco and Lyon. Like all of these League 1 cards are up, and a lot of your Eredivisie cards are up as well. So check your club for those if they're tradable, because uh, if this is that goes for bronzes, silvers, and golds, actually, because a lot of those are up like crazy in price to, for people to get this SBC done. Now, this SBC is not terrible value. The Premium Winter League upgrade, they dropped two of them yesterday. This one is the one that you want to do, right? It only has a 36% upvote. It's about 39,000 coins, 40,000 coins to do, even with some of the inflated prices. It is a bit, I don't know, you know, it doesn't look like it's that insane of value, but it is grindable. If you're somebody who likes to spend a lot of time on the menus, you can do bronze pack method. Right now, bronze pack method into the winter bronze upgrade, into the winter silver upgrade, then using those cards into the winter, the premium winter and the regular winter league upgrade. That's kind of your like league SBC grind right now. It's out for 25 days. So that is a nice way to be grinding the menus. I know a lot of you guys want to do that, but it doesn't seem to be as great a value as previous years of league SBCs because there's only two tradable packs in here and the overall reward is untradeable. So that's a bit of an unfortunate circumstance, um, but you can still get a lot of packs in that way. Now also, at least doing this SBC a couple times is very very good and ea has some sort of new fascination they love doing this now 
with SBCs and objectives, they like to combine the two. Think about it, right? We've got the daily login SBC, right? You go and do that every single day. You come back, you get another pack, and you're working towards the goal of getting this Winter Wild Cards player pack, right? EA loves to now combine like an SBC that ties into an objective, and they did it again with the Winter League upgrades unwrapped. So if you do both of the Winter League SBCs five times a piece, I believe it is, five times for the premium and five times for the base, you will get a lot of packs in return. You get these... 81 times 11 for time number three you get um more 81 times 11s if you do the premium winter league sbc you get three 81 times 11s per each one so six 81 times 11s you can get if you're grinding the menus and doing those sbcs in the next 25 days so that's another kind of like reason to try and grind those and to do those and maybe you have to spend a few coin on those but and it may not be super duper worth it but you do get these kind of cool packs here in in uh the objectives as well i mean is it great value i can't sit here and say that it's like a hundred percent insane value but it is something to go out and to grind if you want to save packs for team of the year i mean again they're not that great of packs but if you just like to grind the menus and open packs like right now with winter wild cards going on this menu grind is going to be huge for so many people let me know down in the comments is this if this is something that you were looking for it's not traditional league sbcs but i mean it's close enough and it does make bronze pack method and um you know grinding the menus with packs very very viable right now with that stuff being released so make sure you check your club for non-rares though league one and the air divisie specifically they are up because of that uh sbc that is in there that requires 11 different players or 11 players from the same club kind of crazy they made that requirement now let's talk about sbc fodder since we're on the topic of packs and sbcs and stuff like that Fodder just keeps going lower. 86 is 12K, 87 is 17K, 88 is 24K, maybe dipping a little bit below that as well. Again, if you waited to do your club stock until tonight, it's looking pretty good. Even if you bought yesterday, I mean, these guys were 23,000 coins yesterday as well, as Fodder did end up going down a little bit. Remember, last Sunday, we had an icon upgrade last Sunday, the 88 plus. I'm not saying it's going to happen again today. I'm saying there's maybe just a chance. So go ahead if you have not stocked your club. If you want to, I might go a little easier on the club stock personally um, this week, but I do feel like there are potential uh, investments out there. 84s, if you can get them at like 2.7, I like that a bit better. They're inflated a tiny bit right now. I would love to see them at like 2.5K again, but 85s below 7K. Remember this, the same thing happened last week. We bought 85s below 7K on bid or right at 7,000 coins. They ended, go, they ended up going to almost 9,000 coins, like 8.5K, especially for some lazy sales. It was a big W. So a club stock is probably a good choice. And I really like the 85s and 86s for a club stock because, again, you think about these SBCs, even like 83s and 84s, a lot of these SBCs are going to be on the cheaper side of things. And they're going to probably require those 83s, 84s, 85s, kind of like the DePaul and the Ozil already have. So that is another reason why I like the lower tier side of the market. But the top tier is looking very low. And if they do drop some sort of big time gamble pack SBC, they're definitely going to go up. They might even start to be invested in as soon as today. So Jeff, definitely keep an eye out for uh, these cards, even rising today. Uh, we have some squad battle rewards that will be paid out for some people today on the game. And uh, there will probably be some people going and investing as we normally see happen on Sundays, uh, just with people getting those rewards and then getting some coins to go invest and just kind of gambling and hoping for one of those big SBCs to be dropped as well so other than that um you know the fodder market does look pretty investable just because there's a lot of demand at the moment now one thing i want to just kind of share with you guys and i mean just this is just a little bit of a note to remember right now this weekend especially with the holiday is a time where a lot of people get on the game wow that's a very low messy price 2.39 do I have enough coins for this right now? Oh my gosh, man. Messi is getting destroyed, but there's not very many cards. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is, uh, your cards that are less than 100,000 coins, there are a lot of new faces that are maybe getting the game for the holidays, getting the game for Christmas, or got money to buy the game for Christmas. You're going to have a lot of new FIFA Ultimate Team players getting on FIFA in the next couple of days. Um, and I would just tell you guys that if you... 
want to trade on the market, watch for these rewards time periods with squad battle rewards and stuff like that, especially as we get into later this next week. Watch your under 100K cards on the market that are from popular teams, um, popular nations, some of your most meta cards, even golds. Guys, even gold cards could be really, really good to trade with because they're going to have some extra demand as people are out buying cards for teams uh, that are just getting the game, right? That's kind of the demand driven side of things here. So if you remember some of your early on in the year, even some of your earlier promo cards, like I don't even know, one that pops into my mind right now is like Road to the Knockouts Thomas Lamar, right? This is a card that so many people loved early on in the year. How much is RTTK Thomas Lamar? Is he like 30,000 coins or like even cheaper than that right now? He's, I mean, he's got the, the links for DePaul. He's 42,000 coins, right? A card like this is one that you might want to keep your eyes out for or, you know, maybe even like the Smith Rowe Rule Breakers card. Stuff like that that is popular players that have cheap promo cards that are maybe even a little behind the power curve. Uh, but ones that were very popular earlier on this year, those cards will probably have some pretty good price fluctuations in the coming weeks, honestly, as people get on this game and uh, and buy cards for the teams. I don't know, like Zambo and Guisa, thinking of the the same car design here, this the same Road to the Knockouts design, 35K, this is a card that was used so much earlier on in the game. And you look at those stats, like that's a pretty nuts card for 35,000 coins. If the Serie A hype returns, that'd be a type of card that I would keep my eye on. Not saying that's one you have to buy. That's just the type of card I would say to keep my eye on um, with everything that could be dropping and, and with with kind of the uh, the new wave of fresh Ultimate Team players hitting the game in the next couple of days, next couple of weeks on FIFA. So that's definitely something to watch out for. Um, and then, you know, again, today... I mean, guys, with this mini release that they dropped yesterday, I didn't get to talk about these yet besides Gravenberch. Gravenberch for me is a decent card. He's only 185,000 coins. He fluctuated really good yesterday. He went down to like 170, went back up to about 220, and is now back down to 185. I would still say that if you're trying to trade with any of these, just be very, very careful. Try to trade in and out of the fluctuations. But guys, like a lot of the rest of the market is just, it's not doing too hot. I mean, you see Alawari Al 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 run is still 540,000 coins. Ginola is back down. Um, your golds, VVD 67K, that's not down that much. A lot of your impacts cards are dropping. Some of your most recent um, out of packs, like the team at tournament cards, are still up a lot. But again, this just kind of goes in line with what I said in the beginning of the video. Like, whatever is linking to these popular winter wildcards SBCs over the next week or so, that is what you're going to see move on the market the most. So like if I invested in Harry Kane's at like 110,000 coins or less, and if you still have those, like, you know, he's 240,000 or 140,000 coins is what he was uh, just a little bit ago. That to me is like, okay, that that's a good sale price. He's, he's up a lot. Foden is up a lot. Um, McAllister has risen a ton. Thiago Silva is up. That's a great card that if you're like less than 100K value, somebody watching the market for a new FIFA player getting on the game, that's a card I'd keep an eye on. Casemiro is up a lot as well. So just be careful with some of the stuff that has risen a lot because again, it all just depends on where the hype is and what cards people want to use, especially re regarding the SBCs because people love SBC players. They love to grind. They love to craft. And that's where a lot of the hype is, especially with this winter wild cards promo. So I'm going to keep an eye on this KDB because uh, that is a nice card to have right now with the price going up. I'm also going to keep a close eye on this Pedri that I sniped in the vid because Pedri for 100 and what did I get? 40K is a dub. So I'm actually going to list this Pedri up for like 147 because I like that price and uh, just a quick reminder as well there will not be a youtube video tomorrow since i will be uh traveling and with uh, some family for the holiday so i will not see you guys tomorrow on the youtube video but we will be back after that uh you can see i got this kevin de bruyne for 1.2 slight bit of a flex i'm gonna hope that he gets a little bit more rare if these two go that that uh, pedri already sold nice but if those 133s go on de bruyne we are going to be looking at a very nice 135 sale on kdb and that'll be some big time profit. But there should be ample opportunities to trade. But also with EA dropping these store packs, I would be careful on the market as it sits because there's going to be a lot of coins drained on this game as well in the next couple of days. So we're going to keep our eyes on it. I'll be tweeting today. Make sure you take a look. Twitter link is down below in the description. Um, and we did, oh, really quick, there's two new tokens. There are now 12 tokens. I'll drop that token tracker link in the description as well. The first token is in this winter winning, which all you have to do is win one game in any foot game mode to get that one. 
and then there was another token SBC yesterday. So we are up to 12 tokens right now for Winter Wild Cards swaps. They are giving us the tokens at a very fast pace. GG's to EA Sports. So if you enjoyed this video, smash thumbs up on it, comment level if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. Merry Christmas once again, and I'll see you guys in a couple days. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Peace.